Alright folks, welcome back. Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, I'm down by the river getting ready to do some fly fishing for trout and salmon. But before we get to casting, I wanted to start a quick review video on this set of waders. These are the dry code waterproof insulated waders with the 600 gram boot. This company reached out to me about a month ago and wanted to know if I wanted to try a set of their waders. And I actually happened to be looking for waders just as they messaged me. I was actually looking for a pair of insulated. I had the choice between insulated and non-insulated. And I already have a pair of non-insulated and I was looking at a pair of insulated. So uh, their message uh, came at a good time. So I figured to give them a shot. I normally turn down them type of offers. I get offers weekly to try gear from manufacturers and I normally turn them down. But I happen to be looking uh, at some waders. This company um, seemed like they had a pretty good product. The reviews were pretty good. So I figured I'd give them a shot. Uh, this is the size 11 and I am 5'8", about 240, 250. I did try these on at home and they fit pretty good. I haven't had these in the water yet. So this will be my first time in the water. Uh, just real quick before I pop these on. Uh, the boot, I would say, is pretty accurate to my boot size. I normally wear a size 10 and a half boot and these definitely fit like a 10 and a half or 11. So I would say the boot fit is pretty good. As far as the fit around my stomach and midsection, it was a little tight, but not because of the waiter's fault. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm 5'8", 240, 250. So if I was 20, 30, 40 pounds lighter, these would be much more comfortable. And there was a little bit of bagginess, you know, down in the lower leg. So I think if you were, you know, 5'10", 6 foot, a little over 6 foot, I think these would uh, fit pretty good too, as far as leg length wise. So I would say these are more geared towards spring and fall fishing. It happens to be the middle of July, and I anticipate these to be quite warm. I just got these in the mail, so I'm going to wear these today. And just a quick walk around of the waders. Nothing fancy. Has the traditional over-the-shoulder straps. Uh, has these shot shell holders here. I would say these are definitely more geared towards the hunting side of the world. But uh, yeah, you have the uh, shot shells there. You have a place for both hands, one on each side. Keep your hands warm. Has a chest pocket here that you can store some gear. It also has a zip up inside the waiter uh, storage bag here. Um, you can store your phone, whatever you want to put in there. This did come with a repair kit. And while I'm talking about that, I'll show you what else this came with. So these came with a hanger. So after you wear them, you can hang them up, hang them by the boots. Came with a, a belt for your waist and it came with a waterproof uh, phone case, which I thought was pretty cool. So that's everything that came in the box. And I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, they're pretty basic. You know, waders are waders. These are the neoprene waders. Um, so it has that neoprene feel. As far as the boots, from what I can tell, it looks like there's a good bond between the boot and the waiter. We're gonna find that out soon enough. I would say just a, a standard tread on the boot here. All right, let's see how they do with my fly vest on. Okay, not bad. Uh, pretty good fit. Um, I didn't have to change the adjustment at all on my fly vest here. Everything fit right on top of that fine. So we're going to head in the river and uh, see if we can find some fish. Good first run. I am definitely bone dry, no leaks. Nice and comfortable walking, good grip on the boots. So far, so good. So, first thing I noticed are these boots are pretty decent on slippery rocks. I just walked in on a couple rocks and I got pretty good traction. Did slip a little bit, but you know, that's to be expected. But so far, traction is pretty good.
Ooh, had a hit, had a hit, had a hit. All right, folks, we're gonna wrap the review up here. Just a real quick ending to the video. Uh, so far, so good with these waders. Uh, they kept me dry, they're comfortable. Uh, they are hot when I'm walking around the shoreline here, but you have to expect that wearing insulated waders in the middle of summer. When I'm in the water, it's not as bad. I didn't bring a, th a uh, thermometer with me, but if I had to guess, I'm guessing the water is hanging around like 68, maybe 70. So when I'm actually in the water, I can actually feel the water cooling me down a little bit. Uh, so that's a good thing. But uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, I think these are really good quality. I got pretty good traction with the boots. I did slip around a little bit on some of the slimier rocks, but you expect that with pretty much any rubber sole boot. I'm going to try my best to get a video this fall with these same waders. Uh, this water behind me here is going to drop significantly. Our falls in Maine, it's not uncommon for us to fish water like this where it's like 48, 50, 52 degrees. So I'm going to try my best to get a video in the fall. If I don't make it in the fall, I'm definitely going to get one in the spring. So initial review of these waders is a uh, thumbs up. So if you happen to be looking for them and you're looking at them for maybe like the fall for hunting or fishing, uh, so far uh, it's a thumbs up from me. Uh, if something changes, I'll let you folks know. But for now, for the initial review, thumbs up. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, feel free to ask. I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.